arrive at Gloucester aboard one of the two grain barges that were once owned by Allied Mills Limited. They carried grain from Sharpness to their mill at Tewkesbury. The skipper blows the whistle to let the lock keeper know that they are around the bend. <laughs> The grain barges have long been sold, and now no commercial vessels trade along the Severn from Gloucester. Gloucester Lock is very difficult to enter with a large vessel. Note how the current takes the bow of the barge across the lock entrance with the pull from the nearby Lantony Weir. We will return to the docks, but first we walk into the city to explore historic Gloucester. Sadly, Gloucester has fallen by the wayside and is no longer the bustling city it used to be. This is blamed on the internet, where people find it more convenient to shop. Gloucester Cathedral, the jewel in Gloucester's crown, is the most visited place in the city. The foundations were laid by Abbot Serlo in the 11th century, with the 15th century tower rising to 69 metres. Although small in size, Gloucester Cathedral ranks as one of the most attractive in Britain. Gloucester Keys was opened in 2009 and is located adjacent to Gloucester Docks. It is a modern retail centre with many restaurants to suit all tastes. Visitors arrive from all parts of the UK as part of a day visit or indeed a stop for a weekend break. We cross the canal to visit Lantony Priory, founded in 1136. Located next to Gloucestershire College, it has been extensively restored in recent years. Gloucester was granted port status by Queen Elizabeth I in 1580, long before any thoughts on building Gloucester docks. Gloucester Lock was opened in 1812, allowing ships into the newly dug basin from the Severn. Not until 1827 was the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal opened, allowing ships to trade to this inland port. By the late 1960s, trade had finished at Gloucester, and the dock warehouses were allowed to become derelict. However, in the 1990s, with government aid, the buildings were rebuilt and the docks became a tourist attraction.
Dunkirk veteran, the Queen Bodicea II, begins her popular 45-minute trip from Gloucester Waterways Museum around the dock basin and along the canal. Historically, Gloucester Dock suffers from a constant build-up of silt. Over the years, this has been removed by various means, and today a popular way of removing the silt is by the cutting suction method, as seen here. We leave Gloucester on the Lundy Island ferry Oldenburg. She came to the port on a very successful two-day courtesy visit. As we leave Gloucester docks, we look forward to a three-hour trip down the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal to the port of Sharpness. Oh, no, 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 no. 